All right, so I, I gotta put this out there just so that way we can clarify this. Um, for those of you who comment on my YouTube channel or channels that I run, um, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't get a chance to respond to all of them. Uh, and there's a specific reason why I don't really chime in on them because conversations can go south real fast, uh, especially when somebody takes being told they're wrong personal. Um, I'm a teacher. I want to make sure the information that's going out, especially about this game, is correct. Um, and if I'm not 100% sure, I will tell you that I'm not 100% sure, so don't take my word for it. The, uh, the problem is when somebody gets on and they are uh, attempting to try and correct something that I'm doing, but then they're telling me um, wrong information, now that information is getting out to the public People are seeing their comment and it's uh, it, it's bad. It can teach people the wrong thing and it can be a wrong thing. Um, the instant I'm talking about is when I posted the narrative for the regional that I just bowled. Um, and I'm gonna make a video based on all this because of, uh, I wanna make sure people have the correct information. Uh, there were two people involved in this conversation. Uh, maybe they were just trolling, I don't know, but either way, it's bad information, it's wrong information, and I don't want people following that information and getting becoming worse bowlers because they're listening to um, either old school techniques that don't apply to today's game, or um, just flat out somebody thinks they're doing something that, that it's physically impossible to do. We'll start with that example. I had somebody commenting, telling me that I'm too far left and that my final step goes too far right to try to compensate for it. Um, so essentially, if anybody watched my last video on the Bowler X channel, I talk about how you should slide towards your target. Um, anybody that knows the game knows your first step is straight. If you're a five-step bowler, your first step is straight. Your second step is in front of your first step. Your third step is a little bit further left than that. And then you start to gradually move your fourth step back to the right, and then your fifth step slides towards your target to finish pretty much exactly where you started. Your body, your target, uh, your body has to face your target. The center of your chest has to face your target. The, your foot should be facing your target. Um, if you don't do these things, if you try to take your, if for a five-step bowler, if you try to take your second step straight in line, with where your, first, where your right foot was before, the ball will have to swing to the right to get it around your leg. If you don't, your ball will hit your leg. It is impossible, physically impossible, to get the ball around your body without swinging it out of the path. So, this is why it's not a crossover step, it's a step in front step, because the ball has to have room to get by your hip, to get by your leg. If you don't do this, you are going to hit your leg so if you're saying you're walking straight, you're not. You're lying. That's not how this works. It's physically impossible. Unless you're bowling granny style uh, or you're swinging it between your legs, there is no way for you to walk straight and to be able to hit this line. So this person was saying, I start my feet on four, I walk up four, I finish my feet on four, and I hit four. That is physically impossible. You cannot do that. It's not, a, I mean, it's just not. And I will show you in a video why. Um, but this video is basically essentially to let you know that that video is coming um, to make sure anybody that saw that false information, I'm going to debunk it. I'm going to show you exactly why you should not be listening to those people. Um, the second person said that uh, you should walk towards your target. And I know what he means. It had to have been an older generation person where the old school technique was shoulders square to the line, don't drop your shoulder, and walk right. And that is not a technique you should use today. It's not possible to do that today. I mean, it is possible, but you cannot throw the ball to the right. You're basically playing up the lane all the time, uh, and that is a bad technique. This is a technique that's used for, that, that a lot of people have who are taught by grandpa, grandma, who were bowling back in the day. And now their struggle is they can't move left of 10 because they just, they can't. Their body won't let them do it. They constantly walk to the right and then they throw it to the left. That's just how they were grown up. That's how they grew up. That's what they were taught. That is just not a technique that is good today. So um, 
I'm going to make a video explaining all of this to the person that was telling me how horrible of a bowler I am and how I'll never have success and have never had success. Kudos to you um, in trying to tell me that I don't take criticism lightly or take criticism gently. You're right. Um, when the criticism is wrong, I'm not going to let you tell people wrong information. That is not how this works. Um, so if you want to comment on here and, and, and try to explain yourself, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, but I, I would expect that you at least research a little bit. Look at the rule of seven. Try to understand why you have to be at least seven boards left of your target that you're trying to hit in order to hit your target. Um, the rule of seven is pretty simple. It's, it's just math. I mean, it's just physics and math. In order for the ball to stay in line with the target, it has to be seven. You have to be seven boards left. And that's if you're playing straight. If you're trying to uh, belly the ball a little bit, if you want the ball to go further right, for every board you move your feet to the left, the ball's going to travel two further to the right. Um, so if I want to play straight up four, like you're saying, you can't slide any further right than 11. It's not possible. It's not physically possible. Um, to, to slide further right and actually hit four and actually have it go straight up four. If you think you're hitting four and you're sliding on four, you're wrong. There, there's there's no way to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna make a video showing all this. I don't even know why I started explaining it because I'm gonna make the video that's gonna explain it all even more. So basically the videos that I've already done explaining it, I'm gonna combine them and we're gonna do it that way. So we will see you guys for that. That'll be fun.